Second half action about to open up here at the Brent Events Center. Michael O'Sullivan rejoining you. Eric Ramirez, our engineer, back at the station. A happy Veterans Day to everyone tuning in. UCI certainly has their work cut out for themselves in this second half, trailing by 16, 40 to 24. Utah State with the advantage after 20 minutes of play. No Luke Nelson in that first half. Do not expect to see him in the second half. Well, let's hope Jaron Martin, one of the two seniors available tonight, can get it going. Again, Jay Mart 0 for 7 in that first half. The Anteaters just struggled offensively, period. 8 of 28 from the floor for 28%. Well, Coach Turner will go with the starters to begin the second half. Giannis Dimacopoulos, Max Hazard, Jonathan Galloway, Jaron Martin, and Brandon Smith. Tim Duria for Utah State. He does the same. The usual suspects. Shane Rector, Kobe McEwen, Quinn Taylor, Jalen Moore, who has a game-high 12 points. And Norbert Janicek. Aggies with the basketball here, just getting things started. And alley-oop here on the first play, and they could not connect. McEwen and Moore couldn't handle it. Going up for the basketball, tried to put it in with the left hand, and the Eaters get a stop to start this second half. Right side, Hazard goes into the corner. Brandon Smith holding in front of his own bench. Jab step, gets a screen from Galloway. Now they work it around the bend to Hazard. Back up top, Martin, pump fix, extra pass. Brandon Smith tees it up, shot no good off the side of the cylinder. And a rebound cleared by Moore and the Aggies. Back they come with the basketball up by 16. Here's Taylor. Tight roping the baseline and fires one up top as he was underneath the basket into the hands of Moore. Here's Moore dribbling to the elbow. Kicks it up top. Janicek, a three from straight away. He got it. Dima Coppolis was giving him plenty of room. I think the Indians were surprised he pulled the trigger, but he knocked it down, and it's a 19-point game. Jonathan Galloway in the high post. Hands it off and screens for Martin up top. Now Hazard feeds Dimacopoulos. Giannis backing down. Janicek, here comes the double team. Shimmies it to Martin. Brandon Smith in the corner. Drives, hangs, can't hit with the left hand. Battle for the board. Galloway has it. Misses the bunny underneath. Here comes Utah State. Rector, shake and bake, goes behind the back. Fall away, shot blocked by Galloway who came in on the help. Hazard pushing the other way for Irvine. Still looking for their first points of the half. Trailing by 19. Hazard, 30 feet away, swings it over to Martin, holding on the right point. Jaron, a little hesitation, goes to Dimacopoulos up top, fires a three, rattled out. And a foul underneath, it's gonna be called on Taylor with Galloway battling for the rebound. Nice job by Jonathan, not giving up on that one. 18-16 to play in this second half. Utah State 43, UC Irvine 24. Baseline inbound with a fresh shot clock after the foul on the Aggies. Martin slaps the basketball. Looking to give it up. Aggie showing zone. Goes to Hazard. Right point. Fires a three. Just a bit too strong. Looked good the whole way from our vantage point. But did not drop for the redshirt freshman. Utah State with the basketball. Nick Ewan holding right side. Guarded by Hazard. Using a pivot foot. Now goes up top Taylor who knocked down a couple of threes in that first half. Here's Moore being smothered by Brandon Smith. Good D from the sophomore. Janicek goes to McEwen on the backdoor cut, being watched by Galloway. Shot faking, goes up, had it blocked into the hands of Dimacopoulos. Eaters looking to push. Brandon Smith takes it to the 10. He was stripped but fouled on his way up. And he will go to the line to shoot two. A little over two minutes into this second half. Eaters looking for their first points. Down 19. Irvine going to Logan a year ago and getting a win over these Aggies. Now, they're trying to return the favor here in the season opener at the Brent. As Brandon Smith misfires on the first. Now Brandon trying to salvage a split at the free throw line now. Bends his knees, gets it to go. 43-25. Here's Rector, a hip-high dribble as he crosses midcourt near the UCI stack logo. Bounces one to the left point, McEwen. 
Now more up top being watched carefully by Smith, and we get a whistle away from the ball here. It's going to be on Rutherford, who just came into the game. Aggies will inbound it. Rector floats one near the top of the circle to Janicek, who now quickly gives to Moore to his right. He bounces it once, picks up his dribble, swings it over to the wing. This is McEwen. McEwen, behind the back dribble, rolls right off a screen near the elbow. Now zips over to Moore. Good shot fake. Now he'll drive, wanted the slam, couldn't flush it down, but a foul called. As Moore tried to get on the highlight reel there, it's going to be Rutherford called for the personal. That's his third. And Moore will shoot two. He has shot the most free throws out of anybody tonight. He's five of six so far on the evening. Gets the first. If he can make the second, it'll be a 20-point lead for Utah State. Yasu Werku getting ready to check in after this free throw. And Moore knocks it down. So 45-25 the count as Werku comes in for Hazard. We approach the 17-minute mark. Jaron Martin brings it up floor as Utah State shows a little bit of full-court pressure. Eaters in the front court. Smith in the corner. Cross-court pass, Worku. Now in the corner, it's Galloway. Floats it up top, Martin. Now Brandon Smith puts it on the deck, driving. Too strong off the glass as he couldn't find the range from 13 feet out. Utah State pushes. Janicek, a finish in traffic in transition. Beautiful feed from Moore. And it's now 47 to 25. Anteater's really having a hard time getting buckets right now. Jaron Martin up top, shimmies over to Worku, puts it on the deck and nearly tossed it into the backcourt. Would have been a violation, but Martin able to chase it down. 16-20 to play. Jaron to Smith. Brandon puts his head down and drives. Kicks to Worku, launches a three just short. Rutherford, the offensive rebound. Kick it out, Martin. He'll tee it up. Got it! Jaron Martin, the three, not only for himself, but for the Anteaters. It's a 19-point game. Now Jaron into the points column, knocking down that three. Here's Janicek in the post on the other end. Spinning, shooting, scoring, working on Rutherford in the paint. Janicek back-to-back -back buckets. Back to a 21-point game. Here's Worku holding left side. Eaters in the attacking zone. Facing a large deficit. Worku in front of his own bench, holding it. Jab steps, gets a screen from Rutherford. Curls to the free throw line, puts it up at the left hand. No good. Galloway's tip is short. Out of bounds. Last touched by Utah State. So it'll stay with UCI for a baseline inbound when we come back. But the Aggies, a firm grip on their control of this one here on the road in the season opener. They lead it 49-28 with 15-31 to play in the ball game. You're listening to UCI by men's basketball on 88.9 KUCI. Concerned about California Trail? But did you know that it takes over 50 times as much water to produce a pound of beef as it does a pound of broccoli? Reducing meat consumption during this drought could dramatically reduce your water footprint. Be water wise. Get the facts about water consumption by checking out the Water Footprint Network, a consortium of scholars, civic leaders, and businesses working toward more sustainable water practices. For more information about water consumption and to calculate your own water footprint, Go to www.waterfootprint.org. This message has been brought to you by your water conserving friends here at KUCI. Desert landscapes and wildflowers, rolling plains, and mile high mountains of stone. It's all right here in California, in the Santa Rosa and San Jacinto Mountains. These are among our treasured national conservation lands. So go, connect with nature, and safeguard them from vandalism, looting, and abuse. Visit conservationlands.org. 15-31 left in the second half. And Eater's in some trouble. Trailing the Yankees 49-28. Eaters will inbound it here out of the timeout with a fresh shot clock. Jared Martin, Evan Leonard, John Edgar Jr., Tommy Rutherford, Yasu Worku, the five on the floor. 
Anteaters in their home whites to open up this 2016-17 season as Martin gets it to Edgar in the near post who hands it back off to Jay Martin. Now they'll set it up with Worku. Goes to the right wing. Jaron, nice jab step. Drives. Tough scoop shot with the left hand. Some contact. Didn't get a call. And Utah State gets the rebound. They lead it by 21. Here on the road. McEwen, the freshman up top, goes over to Moore. Top of the circle. Curls to the elbow. Now into the hands of McEwen, who is bumped and fouled by Edgar, trying to switch and cover him off the screen. Well, that'll reset the shot clock. Here's Rector as they inbound it after the foul. Third team foul, the Anteaters, by the way. The second on Edgar. As now Moore scoops in the lane, working that pivot foot. Got it to go with the right hand. He has 16 now. 51-28. Been a little ugly now here at the Bren as Martin holding right angle. Utah State showing half-court man-to-man. Jaron dribbles up top. Swings it over to Worku, who drives, tried to shovel it underneath to Rutherford, and it deflected out of bounds. Eaters will have it underneath the Aggie basket with 10 on the shot clock. Martin looking inbound. Got it to Leonard, who is fouled underneath. Good cut from the freshman. Martin found him, and Leonard will now shoot two. Foul going to be called on Alexis Dargington of the Aggies. The UCI struggling, continuing in the second half, shooting the rock as Leonard does pour in the first. The last media timeout got a box score from our SID, Bob Olson, as always. Eaters one of nine from the field in the second half. So now shooting at a 24% clip for the game. Leonard does knock down both free throws. Back to a 21-point game, 51 to 30. Some full court pressure here. Utah State able to break it. This Rector had a long pass that was caught in the front court by Barnaba. Now they reset with the senior Jalen Moore. Right side McEwen being covered by Martin. McEwen splits a couple defenders off a of screen. Now we got an offensive foul called underneath on the Aggies. It's on Dargington. UCI back with the basketball. Here's Martin in the front court. Picked up by Rector. Now Jaron directing traffic. Being a signal caller, pointing to guys, trying to get him in the right spot. Jaron rolls off a screen. Little stop and start. Fires to Edgar. Left corner three won't go. Get a whistle and a foul on the floor. It's going to be on Utah State. It's on Barnaba. It'll keep it on this end. The eaters will inbound. 13.52 left in this one. Irvine down 21. Martin slams the basketball. Going to give it up. Zips one up top near the far sideline near that coach's hash mark where Leonard caught it. Now Martin taking a shot in front of Turner here, but a foul call before he released it. The shot went in, but it won't count. Said an illegal screen was set. That's tough to take points off the board there when they've been so scarce for the Anteaters. So Utah State with it, breaking some full court pressure here as Rector. Approaching 13 and a half to go here in the second stanza. Up top, Dargington swings into the corner. Now Barnaba in the post. Cross court pass and a good one in the three. Won't go, too strong right there for Merrill. And a long rebound was tapped by Rutherford initially, but now foul called on the Aggies. That's gonna be on Taylor. Brad Green on for the second time tonight as Rutherford will go to the bench. Edgar Jr., Martin, Worku, Green, and Leonard. In the far corner, Edgar being double teamed. Utah State showing zone. Good ball movement to Leonard in the corner. Pump fake. Now a dribble drive and 
A lean-in jump shot wouldn't go from eight feet out here in the near corner. Utah State again able to clear it on the defensive glass. They've done a nice job limiting second-chance opportunities for the Eaters. Here's a fall-away jumper from Rector and an offensive foul call as he pushed off for pulling the trigger here on the far elbow. 51-30 Utah State. 12.45 to go in this one. Martin holding left side and far away from the basket to work you. Now John Edgar. Pull up, pop is good. In the lane. Edgar lowering the shoulder, got inside that left elbow. Able to rise and hit. Full court pressure, Utah State. Able to break it. Eaters just trying to speed up the game a little bit here. 51-32. They're within 19 now. Rector holding on the angle, little pick and pop with Barnaba. He'll fire a three, and he got it. That's a backbreaker there. As Barnaba drills it from deep. 54-32. Worku up top, 30 feet away from the basket. Shaking and baking, comes off a screen. Dribbles to the elbow, kicks it left side to the angle. It's Leonard on top of the circle. Edgar, Worku, a drive. Jumper, too strong. Green able to tip it in. Count it for Brad Green. The and one with the tip in deuce for the big fella. Good to see him working hard on the glass. Makes it a 20 point game. He'll try to bring him back to 19 when we come back. As he will shoot a free throw. Will the freshman. 11.50 to play. Here in this ball game. Game leaders down 20. We'll take a break. Again, happy Veterans Day to all listeners out there as we are bringing you the season opener for the Game Eaters here on 88.9 KUCI. You must be your fairy godmother. Cinderella's dream comes true because the glass slipper fits. In our world, the right fit can be just as important, especially when it comes to car seats. Always choose a car seat that's the right fit for your child's age and size to make sure your little pumpkin gets there safely every time. How beautiful you. Thank you. For more information, visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. This message has been brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. You're so annoying. You're so annoying. Stop copying me. Stop copying me. Mom, tell her to stop copying me. Mom, tell her to stop copying me. Kids will spend 10 minutes copying everything their sibling says. You're such a You're doofus. You're such a doofus. How about two minutes to brush their teeth? Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. For fun two-minute videos to watch while brushing, visit 2min2x.org. Two minutes, twice a day. I have the time. Mom! A message from the Partnership for Healthy Mouths, Healthy Lives, and the Ad Council. 11.50 to play in this ball game. Season opener for the Anteaters. The first of the 2016-17 season. Brad Green to shoot a free throw. So he's able to tip in. A missed jumper from Worku. Was also fouled in the action. So now trying to complete the three-point play. He does. Soft hop off the back iron and in. For Green, who stands at 6'10", weighing in at 321 from Lone Pine, California. Makes it a 19-point game, 54-35. Utah State with Barnaba up top. Good ball moving underneath here as they got it to Jargington. We get a whistle, stopped on the floor here as he was fouled, was Dargington. This Utah State team returning only four members to this roster. As off the inbound, Dargington trying to follow a jumper in the lane. Shot no good. Green able to clear it for Irvine. Back come the Anteaters. Worku now handling the point with Jaron Martin on the bench. Again, no Luke Nelson tonight. Anteaters certainly missing his presence offensively. As Worku, here's a driving kick to Hazard. Goes up top. Edgar! Edgar. 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 Stepped into that one with confidence. And with 11 minutes to play, it's 54-38. See if the Eaters can put a little run together here. 
Barnaba holding top of the circle, being guarded by Edgar, goes over to McEwen, the freshman. McEwen slices into the lane, able to hang and hit. Just took it upon himself to get to the rim there and finished off the window. McEwen showing some good moves there. He's got a very quick first step as well, just like Yasu Worku, his counterpart. Worku in the corner. He'll try a floater, and he responds. He gets those two right back. The runner. Good for the freshman who played his high school ball at Los Alamitos. 10-20 on the clock. 16-point lead for the visitors. Right side, this is Perry. They work it around the horn. It's knocked away by Runner. Evan trying to go coast to coast. He does. Lays it up and in. That's a great play from Evan Leonard. Reading the pass. Got a hand on it. Came up with a steal and able to finish on the other end. 14-point game. Anteaters with some momentum and the crowd getting into it a little now. Here's McEwen holding on the left point. Shadowed by Hazard. Rolls right, and he's bumped and fouled by Edgar trying to switch on the screen. That'll be the third foul on John. Sixth team foul. Next one of those puts Utah State in the bonus. By the by, Anders are in the bonus. Utah State has committed 17 fouls. As Brad Green will go to the bench. And Jonathan Galloway checks back in. They got Galloway, Edgar Jr., Hazard, Worku, and Leonard. And now we get a whistle away from the ball here. As Jalen Moore just came in. A foul call on Leonard, who apparently was holding Moore. He was trying to get free. And he will shoot a one and one. And that's the wrong guy to foul. Moore, seven of eight at the line. Shooting the bonus. And perfect on the first. As Brandon Smith comes in, Leonard checks out. 9.40 on the clock. And Moore cashes in on both. He now has 18. And Utah State builds their lead to 16. 58-42. Timeout on the floor here. And we will take one as well. Aggies leading the Anteaters by 16. Still a lot of time left here in Irvine. Right back here at 88.9 KUCI. Growing fresh citrus is something we've enjoyed in California for generations. But our citrus trees are at serious risk due to a disease called Wang Long Bing, or HLB, that is now in California. Once a tree is infected, there is no cure. To learn more about what you can do to save your citrus, visit CaliforniaCitrusThreat.org or call the California Department of Food and Agriculture hotline at 800-491-1899. A public service from the Citrus Pest and Disease Prevention Program. Every day, 70,000 puppies or kittens are born in the U.S. Cute, right? What's not cute is that half of all litters are accidents, which leads to millions killed in shelters each year. Turns out, those little cuties can get pregnant sooner than you think. But here's the good news. You can stop the accident before it happens. When you bring home a pet, get them fixed at four months old. Prevent more. Fix at month four. Visit fixat4.com for more information. Brought to you by Best Friends Animal Society. Gut check time for UC Irvine here in their home and regular season opener. Trailing Utah State 58 to 42. And out of the timeout, it's going to be John Edgar Jr., Evan Leonard, Max Hazard, Brandon Smith, and Jonathan Galloway. Two sophomores and three freshmen. Hazard, a redshirt freshman. Worku, a true freshman, handling with a hip high dribble 35 feet away from the basket. Eaters with the basketball. Galloway. High post to Hazard. Far corner. This is Brandon Smith. Working a jab step. Crossing over on Taylor. 10 to shoot. Now here right side. This is Worku. Dribbles up top to Edgar Jr. Who fires. Shot no good. Can't find the range this time. And a nice rebound. Nick Ewan really showing some athletic ability there. Goes up ahead to 
Merrill who pulled the trigger from three. Rimmed out, out of bounds, back to Irvine. 9.05 on the clock. 16-point game. Worku crosses the UCI stack logo into the front court. Finds Hazard coming free off a screen. Utah State half-court man-to-man set. Worku, far corner. He might have traveled. He did. Trying to quickly sidestep to his right in that far corner as the Eaters turn it over. Fifty-eight, forty-two. McEwen, right side to Moore, curling off a screen. Good underhand pass to Janicek, and a reach-in foul called before he could go up. That was good job creating by Moore. It's going to be on Worku, so Janicek will shoot the one and one. Eighth team foul on the Anteaters. All the UC Irvine staff. Wearing yellow ribbons tonight in honor of Veterans Day as Janicek rattles out the free throw. It's a live ball, and it's chased in by Hazard in the far corner near the Aggie bench. Now Max handling the point on the other end. Eight and a half minutes left in this one. Eaters down 16. Right side Edgar into the corner. Brandon Smith thought about firing. Now he drives into the lane, working a pivot foot to Worku. Yasu, floater, rattled out with the right hand. Just outside the low block. And the Aggies pushing the other way after the miss. Here's McEwen. Left side. Dribbles once. Pulls up and hits. That's just the athletic ability there from McEwen. Makes it look easy. You can see he's got such a natural lift to that jump shot. Able to stop on a dime, knock it down, and put the Aggies at the 60-point mark. Here's Hazard driving on the other end. Into some traffic. Can't get it to go. And Utah State pushing. McEwen trying to go coast to coast. Timing those two steps and one. And oh man. Four straight for the freshman. They look to make it five in a row at the free throw line when we come back. Media timeout. But the Aggies now up by 20. 62-42. Take a break. 7.42 remaining in this one here at 88.9 KUCI. Michael the for the new safety drain covers. The pool fencing, even the swim lessons. But the fact is, you can never know which safety step will save a life until it does. Adding multiple safety steps to your safe pool practices can mean the difference between a close call and a call to 911. Simple steps save lives. To learn some new ones, visit PoolSafely.gov. A public service message from the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, the American Red Cross, and YMCA of the USA. There are lots of ways your family can avoid the flu. Like moving to a distant island for the entire flu season. But the best way is to get your family vaccinated against flu. Flu can be serious for everyone, even really healthy people. Young kids and older people are especially at risk. So is anyone with a health condition like asthma or diabetes. That's why everyone six months and older should get a flu vaccine every year. It's easy. A lot easier than moving to a distant island. Find a nearby place to get vaccinated at flu.gov. Brought to you by HHS. Back here at the Brent, Michael O'Sullivan here at side. Eric Ramirez, our engineer, back at the station. Fans, let's hear it for UCI had a rough go here in their season opener, down by 20. Here in the second half, 62-42. Utah State looking to make it a 21-point lead as their freshman phenom, Kobe McEwen, will head to the free throw line. McEwen earning preseason recognition from the Mountain West, actually. Was picked to be co-freshman of the year alongside San Diego State's Jalen McDaniel, but missing the free throw here out of the timeout, so can't complete the three-point play. Yannisty McCopolis, the rebound, gives it over to fellow senior Jaron Martin, who gets into the front court. Anteater shooting just 28% from the field and trail by 20. Martin dribbling between his legs, being shadowed by a much taller and longer Jalen Moore. Goes over to Hazard left side, back to Martin. Now they work it to the corner and a whistle on the ground. It's going to be called here. Dimacobolis got tangled up with Janicek. It'll be the Utah State Center called for the foul. So that's going to send Giannis to the line to shoot the bonus. 
Giannis his first free throws of the season. He was a 64% shooter from the line a year ago. Mimikopoulos floats the first one in. 19-point game now. Dimakobolis, his sixth point of the night. The other senior on the team, Jaron Martin, with just three points. And Jay Martin, one of nine from the field. Now the officials getting something sorted out at the scorer's table. And it actually looks like the Utah State trainer is taking a quick look at Quinn Taylor. Might have been cleaning up a cut near his eye. Seems to be fine. He's back in there. So Dimakopoulos now shooting the second. Got it. 62-44. Still a lot of time left in this one, but the Anteaters are going to have to start shooting the ball a lot better. Approaching the seven-minute mark. Here's Rector, the senior point guard up top for the Aggies. Goes over to Moore, holding on the wing. Now here's McEwen, who comes off a screen. Drives, swings over to Moore. Now up top, clean luck for Taylor. Too strong, rebound. Brandon Smith, skying the clamp on it. And he'll push it himself for Irvine. Behind the back dribble near the wing. Goes over to Hazard. Now Martin, holding near side. Jab step off a screen. Left-handed pass over to Smith, who drives into some contact. Wild shot with the runner, way too strong, and here's more pushing. Utah State with numbers. Rector, a drive. Underhand feed underneath to Moore, who's able to put it up and in. Off the window, give him 20 now on the night. And the lead is 20, 64-44. I think a lot of people, and again, with a young team, you're going to expect some growing pains. Hazard left side feeding Dimakopoulos. Asked about this anteater team, where are the points going to come from? As Dimakopoulos gets a couple of points there, spinning and scoring outside that left block. Nice little jumper there from the big man. 64-46 the count now, but you know with no Luke Nelson tonight, it was really going to be a challenge for points, one could imagine. And with Jaron Martin struggling to shoot the ball, it has been just that, a real struggle. As Rector leaves one short from 17 feet out. Anteaters able to collect the rebound. Down by 18 with the basketball. Hazard holding left side. About 20 feet away. Now they work at Dimakopoulos underneath. Nice shot fake. Goes up. Can't finish, but he does draw a whistle. Good shot fake there from Dimakopoulos. And he was fouled by Taylor. So Giannis to shoot two with 532 on the clock. Mikobolis takes a deep breath, and he misfires on the first. As John Edgar Jr. comes in. Oh, no, he won't. I <laughs> thought he was. Took a couple of steps on the hardwood, then goes back to the scores table. Dimakopoulos trying to earn a split, and he does. Now Edgar Jr. comes in, and he's going to get Dimakopoulos. So they're going to go small here. And Leonard comes in for Smith. Galloway, Leonard, Hazard, Martin, Edgar Jr. Here comes some full court pressure for UCI. No surprise. They inbound it to the near corner to McEwen, who finds Rector straight up the middle, breaking some pressure. Kicks it left wing for Moore. Three won't go. Rebound Galloway. Martin pushing for the home team. Jaron over to Leonard. Watched by McEwen. Leonard a drive. Good take, but can't finish. Utah State, good defense without fouling there as Leonard penetrated. And we have five minutes left here at the Brent. 64-47 Utah State. Barnaba, top of the circle. Gives over to McEwen, holding on the left point. Shadowed by Hazard, 10 on the shot clock. Moore curling at the free throw line, gets the catch. Nice shot fake, and then pulls up and hits. Moore has played a very good opener here tonight. 22 points now. And UCI turns it over. As Martin wanted Leonard over on the left side, and they clearly weren't on the same page. 
Now Brad Green will come in for Galloway with 4.39 on the clock. Nine team fouls apiece. And Aggies with the basketball and a 19 point lead. Up top, this is Dargington. Goes over to the right side into the hands of Rector. Senior out of New York. He wanted more, I think, on an alley -oop. More stopped cutting, and the ball just sails out of bounds. And both seniors look at each other and say, My bad. 66 47. Anteaters rolling out to Martin, who will pick it up near half court, trying to save a couple seconds. Leonard. Up top, 25 feet away, comes uh, right off a screen from Green. Green able to finish. Brad with some good minutes off the bench. It's a nice pass from Leonard, zipped it in. And Green, a right-handed hook, good off the window. On the other end, McHugh in a drive, kicks it up top. Barnaba, three, no good. Hazard skying for the rebound. Here's Max, pushing, shoulders Shrugged to Martin, three in the right corner, short. Off the side of the cylinder. 3.40 on the clock. Anteaters running out of time, down 66-49. McEwen off a screen, step back outside the free throw line, no good, rebound. Hazard saves it to Green before going out of bounds. Green hands it off back to Hazard, who will attack. Foul call, that's gonna be a block. And Hazard will go to the free throw line when we come back. Final media timeout. 3.26 to go in this one. Utah State in control here as we come down the home stretch. The Aggies a 66-49 lead. You're listening to Andy Der Basketball on 88.9 KUCI. Pick up your kids without embarrassing them with OMGPS, a navigation system that tells you how far away you need to park when you pick them up. Keisha at mall. Proceed to outer food court. Thanks, OMGPS. OMGPS is not available in stores because it doesn't exist. But that's okay. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent because kids in foster care don't need perfection. They need you. For more information on how you can adopt, go to adoptuskids.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt Us Kids, and the Ad Council. I'm home, and I love it. I'm home, I'm home, where I belong. These days, many Americans are at risk of foreclosure and losing their homes. Making Home Affordable from the U.S. government has already helped many struggling homeowners. Go to makinghomeaffordable.gov or call 1-888-995-HOPE. The sooner you act, the better chance we can help you. I'm home, I'm home. Brought to you by the U.S. Treasury, HUD, and the Ad Council. Final media timeout here at the Grand Events Center. The Eaters huddling up near their bench, hoping to make a final push here. They have a lot of work to do in the final 326. Down 66 to 49. Well, the lead is 17 for Utah State. Max Hazard shooting two free throws out of the timeout here. A couple days from now on Monday the 14th, South Dakota State comes in. Jack Rabbits, like the Anteaters, a lot of success over the past few seasons. As a mid-major, as Hazard knocks down the first. South Dakota State, they've made the NCAA tournament three of the last four years. As Hazard misfires on the second, battle for the board, Leonard and Edgar going for it, but his last touch by Dargington. So it'll stay on this end with UCI. 16 point game. Work goes the inbounder, struggling to find someone, now throws an over the top pass to Hazard near center court. Max rolls off a screen, goes up top, Edgar Jr. Left side, Leonard, three ball, they need it, they don't get it, missed badly. Now Utah State running up the floor. It's Rector to the basket, lays it up and in. Great toss as Rector just took off after the bad miss from Leonard, and it was Moore finding him with a baseball pass over the top. 18-point game as Hazard drives, and it blocked away from behind. It was Rector. Wow, great block there from the senior. Now he pushes the other way to Dargington, who slams it, coming down Broadway. And that puts an exclamation point 
on this one. As Utah State now up 20, 70 to 50. Worku up top goes into the corner for Leonard. Whistle and a foul called on the Aggies here. That foul is going to be on Barnaba. And double bonus time now as Brad Green will shoot free throws. Green misses the first. Well, the Anteaters shooting just below 30% for the game. Again, no Luke Nelson tonight, resting a hamstring injury that has bothered him over the last month or so. Hoping to get him back on the floor for Monday's game versus South Dakota State. Darian Trailer comes back in. And Green able to make the second, and Tommy Rutherford will come in. Good minutes, though, from Brad Green tonight. I think that's definitely a takeaway for the positive. 2.31 on the clock. Utah State showing full-court pressure on the Anteaters. They're able to break it with some good passing. And Rector holding near the timeline in the front court. Rolls right off a screen. Attacks. Tried to find a cutting Dargington, but he couldn't handle it. Lost it out of bounds near his own bench. And it's a turnover as McEwen will come back in. 2.16 on the clock. Edgar Jr., Worku, Hazard, Trailer, and Rutherford. The five out there. All freshmen. Hazard and Trailer are the red shirts. As Trailer in the corner goes underneath. Rutherford backing down his man in the lane. Nice strong move from the freshman. And he got it to go. Working the pivot foot. Put it up and in over the side of the cylinder. Near the low block. Utah State breaking some full court pressure again. Minute 50 on the clock. The Aggies up 70 to 53. And we'll start their campaign out with a win. Up top with it is Merrill. Now left side, McEwen. Ten on the shot clock. Underneath Janicek. Ball faking. Spinning. Shooting. Scoring with the right hand. Working on Rutherford in the key. Here's Worku on the angle. Buck 20 on the clock now. Trailer, shot fake, put it on the deck, thought about it, now goes up top. Worku, left side, Edgar Jr. Fires, can't find the range, missed it short into the left. Rebound hauled in by the road team in blue. Utah State pushing with Perry, who hands it off to Merrill. 60 seconds left. Now follow a jumper from Perry, way off the mark, Hazard the rebound. He'll push up floor, Hazard, stop and start. Drives, blocked away from behind by McEwen, and... He'll push into the front court. They'll be in no rush, leading by 19. So the Anteaters will fall to 0-1 on the year. A young team getting their first crack for a lot of these guys to put on the jersey and play for the first time in a game that counts. Here's McEwen. A drive. He was bumped and fouled by Rutherford. 29 seconds left, and he will shoot two. McEwen, the freshman with 11 points in his collegiate debut. Now with 29 seconds, Brad Green comes in for Rutherford. McEwen. Shooting two. Both teams have been in the double bonus for a while. And he short arms the first and puts his head down in frustration. And under 30 seconds to play now as McEwen left the second one short as well. Rebound green. 19 point game. Worku in the front court. Work in a dribble. Here's Hazard, far corner. Bounces back to work, who top of the circle. Now trailer over on the right point. 14 seconds left. Edgar Jr., left side to work, who straight away three. And the deep one is good. 72-56, just eight seconds left. They inbound to McEwen, and they will dribble out the clock here. 
So they get it to midcourt. Perry will put it on the deck a couple of times, and that's going to be the final horn. Your final from the Brandonites. Utah State 72, UC Irvine 56. So the Anteaters dropped their opener in a game where points were hard to come by. And we will take a break, and when we come back, we'll talk to head coach Russ Turner here on 88.9 KUCI.